today. Pankaj Munjal, the chairman and managing director of Hero Cycles Limited is now with us. Mr. Munjal, thank you so much. Thank you so much for speaking to NDTV. First of all, I want to know from you, as we are all practicing social distancing via modern day technology using our computers and Skypes, uh, hopefully we'll have a good conversation with the audio in place and video in place. Mr. Munjal, I want to ask you this, this when you see lakhs and lakhs of people on the road do you do you see this as as some sort of of a personal failing or india's failing that we have failed somewhere that so many people are on the road see if you see the us which is a rich country i mean there's a, so, a certain strata of uh, of the society that they have here uh, i mean there but in india our demographics are very highly segmented so it's a part of the whole system. We are seeing the part of the whole system. So they, uh, daily wages means they earn daily and they spend daily and they save a little. So if he is a daily wage guy, so he's, he's, that is the situation. In fact, when I saw this picture, it was very uh, uh, sad to see this. And uh, we offered 5,000 cycles. I mean, I thought if we could play a small role in this with a bag of food to go with it, Social distancing will happen whether they go on a bus or they go separately on cycles. It mm -hmm. didn't work out like it couldn't work out getting so many emergency passes. But uh, it's very painful to see all of this happening. They can't go back. They can't stay here comfortably with the family. It's a very sad situation that we all have to face. One one point, let's Mr. Mun Yeah, you were saying. Sorry, you were saying. Let's hope we can tide over this fast. I mean, uh, I want to compliment the prime minister, the whole government. They've done a great job. To see India at level number 41 in that list of the virus spread, it's a good job done. Mm. Right timing, right uh, right enforcement of law. Mm. So I just hope we don't get a spike soon, uh, spike now. But uh, must you know, compliment, the, it's a good job that we can get over this. That's the fear. I feel that the, in terms of announcing a lockdown, that was a decision spot on, as we've been saying. Uh, for a country as huge as this and uh, resources, medical resources so limited as we have, uh, it was important to stop or contain the community spread. But do you feel that somewhere, and I ask you this question as, as, as a key industry figure, Mr. Munjal, the fact that so many migrant laborers were jobless overnight, were hungry overnight, were thrown out of their homes overnight, is a reflection of how people do business in this country that you would immediately say no, in people. fact let them go uh, we employ 7000 people in our business we no, i'm not talking deal about you. With small... yeah. no i was trying to get to a point that we sure. deal with small scale sector and mm. they deal with the mic they deal with the tier two suppliers deal with daily wage and like you know uh, this uh, labor category so we are a part of the system and uh, we see it happening and what worries me more now is, let's hope in the next two weeks, whatever 14th April is the date, we can come back slowly, steadily. It will not be like a button that you press the button on and we are out and things are running. It's going to be a long haul. I've been reading about it, how after Great Depression or how 2008 or 2001 went by, it's going to take time. And uh, in our auto business, I mean, for a want of a pin, the whole gearbox or the whole, you know, Auto component can get hit. So mm. we need every labor, every pin, every part of the supply chain back. Mm. It's going to be a very long haul. We are not ready for that. Mm. So what I am having video conferencing and all with my people is on that. One is to take care of the people, to give them security. Mm. We've allocated a large fund for this. Monday we give 10 crores to the Prime Minister's Relief Fund. Another 100 crores has been allocated how to help the whole industry, not hero only, but the whole industry will need a lot of attention. That's that's very reassuring, Mr. Munjal, to hear all of this. Now, what role but I wanted to ask you... on the positive side, I wanted to yeah, yeah, one thing. I wanted to ask yeah. you about on positives. The positive what side, can be once done? We, what can be done? Now, what uh, uh, would be and then how to do that would be the thing. What I believe is China is not going to be the same again. Now, large companies basing them as a single source for the supply chain, it's very risky. For a few dollars saving, we cannot risk the whole supply chain and the continuity of business coming in there. 
So I believe every Indian manufacturer mm. sitting yes. here has a great chance of a life to get into Europe, to get into North America and make a presence felt. What IT did 10 years back, 15 years back, whenever mid 90s when they wow. came up, it's the manufacturing engineering outsourcing. It's the supply designed to cost solution. So this is what the manufacturing hub has to shift, will mm. shift, mm. and is already shifting. Take for us, like uh, we see Huan and other Chinese base already coming up and we're getting messages that your goods are ready, can we send you new samples? But there's an element of fear now. We can't mm. go fearlessly chasing a few rupees or dollars. On the, uh, mm. So China is not going to be the same again. Now how to do it with that should be planned well. It'll be a journey, but India stands at the chance now. It's very, very significant and reassuring what you seem to say because you're, you're giving a sneak peek into a possibility of the future, Mr. Munjal. Uh, while there is all of prediction about, uh, you know, its negative impact on the Indian economy, which is bound to happen. I mean, at a time of a slowdown, you had a virus hitting us hard like this. So there is bound to be an impact on the economy. I want you to understand from you how soon before we can see that, that V curve, or India on the rise again? See, these large companies like BMW and all Mercedes, who our customers are, I mean, their ordering cycle itself is one year and testing of the products is one more year. So it's a two year for the start of production level. So the businesses that we are doing, they have a long cycle, but then there has to be a zero date for it. There has to be a starting point for it. So that is one level of time frame that I'm trying to give. But on a bicycle business, which about 30% of a cycle that we make are exported, that will be shorter term. But to give you a number, it's a guess. I may be wrong. It could be, you know, different for different products and different segments. I think one year will be a time to crawl back to the level that we were in. No, we one, year to to, plan. one year to crawl back to the level where we were pre-corona, right? Which was in any case yeah. in a state of slowdown. Uh, which was any, exactly. So exactly. I want to know from you that that optimism that you were showing of India realizing its potential as a manufacturing hub in the backdrop of of uh, of coronavirus, when can that kick in? You know, because this is very, it's very interesting what you have suggested. See, uh, you know, I can talk of my segment. I mean, that's what I know and that's what I can talk about my segment is sure. that uh, any country it's got a core competence. It's got an identity. Like in Germany, they are one, they are one percent of the world population for the working class, but they do ten percent of export. Hmm. They are focused. They are focused on who they are, what they are, and what they can sell and compete. So similarly, we'll have to identify that segment who we are, and then we have to hone, super finish, hone that uh, level, and then make it globally competitive. So the winds of change will start from China out. And that is the time we have to be ready. Mm. If we can get our skills, if we can get our capabilities, our tight supply chain to the customer, managing of currencies, that department, then all these four or five pillars with people and processes, and then uh, we can do it. I believe we will do it. With that smile, Mr. Munjal, thank you so much for talking positivity in these times of grief. Thank you so much. Thanks. I'm sure this, this conversation will be reassuring for a lot of people watching your interview. Pankaj Munjal, Thank you very much. the Chairman and Managing Director of Hero Cycles Limited, talking exclusively to NDTV.